Hello and welcome back guys. So in the previous video we saw a simple way to uh, style our navigation bar but if you want to get in-depth and actually do a swap for the classes that are in here this is where the walker class comes in. So what exactly is a walker class anyway? So if you remember correctly, when we are putting our, um, when we register our menu and we go to our index page here, uh, where is this? In the navigation, template part, navigation. All right, so there's a part where we create our navigation menu right here. And if you see this, this is called WP nav menu, right? I'm going to copy this for a second and then go to my WordPress code reference in here. And I just want to type WP nav menu and search for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one right here, the function I click. So here it says you can put arguments that are optional because it says it's equal to an empty array, which means they are optional. But if we move down here, you will see that there are several options, but then there is a Walker class here. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what that Walker class does. Now, normally there is a, a default Walker class that is given if you don't provide one. But then we're going to see how to customize and create a very own Walker class down here to change things. But before we go into the Walker class thingies, you see that there are many options here. So for example, um, let's see here, we can have a menu ID and a menu class. So there's the class there, and then there's a container. We can add a container, and then we can, the default container is a div, and then we can give the container class as well, and the container ID, and then what else? Um, there's also link before and link after. Uh, let's see what else we can manipulate here. I think uh, that's about it. But it's it's uh, it's good enough for what we want. So let's go to the nav bar in uh, Bootstrap here, so that we can see exactly compare the classes how we need things to be. So I'm going to start with this one right here. And uh, let's come down here to see where the menu is. Now, these parts up to the button here don't really matter. They're not part of the pages that we are looking for. The pages are in here, where there's a main list item, and then there's list item one, list item two, and then list item with a drop down, and so on. And also, the one with the drop down has different classes as well. But all we need to look at now is the classes that we have here. So first of all, this thing says, um, so beginning here where there's a div right there, because this is the div that encompasses the ordered list, the unordered list here. So that's all we need to concentrate on. So uh, let me come down here. So this is one piece of the puzzle here. So what I want to do right here is add more options right so there's container class here um, and we see here it says my extra menu class right so let's see if we come back to the blog let me move this over here not the yeah the blog right here so if i now right click on this and inspect the element let's see where that class falls under so you see here on the div let me actually uh, copy the entire navbar and say outer HTML, and then I can create a new and paste. Okay, so this is what we have in there. Now, if you look at this, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, yes, this is definitely the wrong thing that I copied here. Sorry, my bad. I copied the wrong thing. But uh, it still has my extra menu class, doesn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I copied this wrong thing. Sorry, 
copy out HTML on this div here. Uh -huh. So this is what we have. So you can see there's a div and then the unordered list and then there's list items in here. Now the very first div has the my class, my extra menu class class here because we told it so. So which means we can actually change what this class name is just using the params here. So let's do that. Now this represents the... Um, so let me close this. This represents the div that is in the nav bar up to there, right? Right here. So which means we can change these classes right here. Now, I don't want to disturb this section here because I want to use it for reference. So where it ends is here. So I'm just going to put some space and move my navigation to there, right there. So this will create its own div and its own components. So let's refresh. We should see some pages and they're right there, right? Good. Okay. So, so far so good. Now, those classes, of course, the other classes are working here and um, they are working on this that's why it's like that but i want it I want to swap those classes one by one until we get to this so first of all let me go to my style.css i want to remove these classes here because we've already seen how to do this so all these main nav menu uh, styles can be removed so back here let's see if uh, okay so it isn't refreshing as we expected so back to functions and let me change my random text on the that thing there to make it refresh. And there we go. So it's back to its original self. Okay, good. Now that we are there, let's go back to, let me close the styles thingy. Go back to the navigation. So we want to create this section from the div to this one. We want to recreate it in here. So first of all, let's change the classes. So these are the classes we need. So let me just copy these classes, copy, and then I will put that the content here, like so. Okay, so save that, and let's see what we've got, if anything changes. So at least you see now uh, things have changed a little bit. Okay, so that's good news. And then let's keep moving. So what else do we need here? So if we go back to the nav menu thingy here, there's a container class, and then there's a container which tells it whether it's a div or not, but it's a div, we want it there. And then there's container ID. So let's copy this container ID as well. So let's put as many of these as we need. So I'll put container ID here. And the container ID, if we check the same container, the ID is this one. So we want to repeat what is on there. So paste like so. Okay, so back. Now this uh, this uh, this method can be can get a little bit complicated. So just take your time and watch the video over and over if you get confused somewhere. Okay, so syntax error, unexpected quote. So we've done something wrong here. We didn't put a comma. So put a comma there. Let's even put another comma right there at the end at the end of that. Yeah, then there we go. Okay, good. Then up, apart from that, we can also, let's see, what else can we get here? Um, container, menu ID, uh, menu class. Okay, so the, there's menu class and menu ID here. So let me come back here. Let's see if we um, we need any of that. Class and ID, yes. So I'm going to right click here and inspect again to see which one has menu and which one. So the ordered, an ordered list itself has an ID and a menu uh, and a class called menu. So which means we can edit that as well. So there we go. So it's menu class. Let me get menu class here. And then there's menu ID. So good. So back to the blog. 
So what they're talking about in the new class is this one on the ordered list, the class, and there's really no ID here. So we just want these classes here. So I'm just going to duplicate this and put menu class. The ID is irrelevant because there isn't one here. So let me copy all these classes here and I just want to paste them there. Save. Okay, cool. And now I will refresh and you see something is different uh, right there. Okay, so this is all we can do, unfortunately, using the params there. What now we need to do is go and use the walker in order to do a little bit more. So now um, we're going to give it a walker class here first. So we're just going to say walker. So I'm saying walker here because this is exactly what it says. The param is code down here, walker. Uh -huh. So we will need to create a walker class. Now, what are we going to call our walker class? I'm just going to call this one, since this is the header menu, I'm just going to say header underscore menu walker, like this. Now, this is going to be a class. So what I will do is put my brackets like so and put new here like this, okay? So it's going to be a new header walker, header menu walker. So it's a class name. Now this is object oriented PHP. So, but if you don't know any OOP, don't worry, that's okay. You can just follow along with the steps. Now to do this, we have to create a class so that we can call it like this. Now we do that in our functions.php and right here, because right now if I try to run this, it's going to give me an error and say uh, unknown class, right? Rightfully so. So what I can do is create the class and just say class right here. And uh, I'll just put some, some comments and say walker class. And then I'll put the name here for that walker. So it's going to be called class walker um walker whatever like this you don't need those brackets like so and then i will remove everything here okay so once i do that now uh there is a walker class now unfortunately it's calling some methods that are not there so instead of us trying to figure out what methods we should add in here we can easily just copy a an existing walker class which is already being used by WordPress itself and then we can just modify it as we please. So go to the code reference again and search for walker nav menu. Now if you don't like uh, changing the code like this you can go to github and look for a walker class that somebody already made and there are instructions there on how to use it to convert to um, let's see here if I say walker uh, github okay uh, I think there's one right here bootstrap nav walker walker class yeah so let's see right here so some people already do this and uh, let's see what it says here walker nav class yes now the only issue is sometimes you find that uh, this walker class isn't up to date with uh, the current version of bootstrap so then in that situation you have to create your own this is why um yeah so it says usage with bootstrap 5. oh you know the last time i checked here uh it wasn't yet it wasn't yet up to date so that's why i decided let me show you how to make your own, but otherwise, this is how you use it right here. In your class. So it seems this one is up to date with Bootstrap 5. So you can just copy this and use it in your project. The instructions are there, but we are here to learn. So let's make our own very quickly. So here there is a Walker nav menu. This is what I searched for. And uh, once I searched there, I clicked on that and there's a sample walker class here. So you see it's walker nav menu and then it extends walker as a class. So this walker nav menu is the default 
uh, class that is used when you are running your menus. So instead of um, using this, we're just going to copy the code from here, uh, collapse full source code. No, nope, I want to see all of it. And I just want to copy the code from here. Okay, cool. So right there, copy. Now I'm going to paste here like so. Okay, let's come back here. Up, 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 up. And then I'll replace this header walker out and put it here. So this also extends walker, just like this one. So now if I close this, I remove that, it should work as normal. If I go back to my blog, refresh. Now, because this is a standard walker, it's like we've done nothing. The only difference is that now we are free to edit this. Now, this makes my uh, functions page very uh, congested, so I don't like this. So I'm just going to cut all the code from here, cut from the class itself, and then create a new file here, new file in the templates, and paste that content hit save. Make sure you're saving as PHP. So I'm just going to call it walker.php. So you can give it a more specific name like navwalker or whatever it is. For now, I'll just say walker.php and save. Okay, pretty good. Uh, why isn't it... Uh, it doesn't display like PHP at all. Okay, that's because there are no PHP tags at the top. So don't forget those PHP tags at the top and let's save. And then to make sure that it's still working, when we go back to our functions.php here, uh, what we will do is we'll get template directory. Now we won't use the URI because we don't want the HTTP there. We want just the file path. So I'm going to say here, uh, require, so that we can require this file. And then here, do that, and then concatenate. So we are adding to this, and this is inside the template parts, like so. And then uh, slash walker.php. So without this line, it's going to tell me that uh, the walker is missing because it's in a file, an external file there. But if I include it like this, then things are good. I should probably put a slash there, I think. Okay. So let's refresh and make sure there are no errors. So if there are no errors here, then we are good to go. Our walker has been imported from the external file. Now we can edit it by itself right here. Okay, so I don't want to confuse you too much on one video and show too much information. So, so far, so good. We have a separate walker and in the next video, we're going to proceed and edit the contents of this walker. I'll see you in the next video.